Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections, and today I have a finished product to share with you. I did do a somewhat start to finish on this book as well, which I will post after my flip through right here. So if you're interested, then please stay tuned. And I'm using a tutorial from my sister Scrapper. It's a tri-fold folio, I believe is what she calls it. It's a great tutorial, so I'll be sure to link that in the description box below. So I didn't show making of the book in any way. She has a great tutorial on that. I just showed basically how the book came together after that. Um, I'm using a beautiful new collection from Knitwit Collections. It's called Christmas Romance. And it's a gorgeous collection. I did my base out of black cardstock, which I think it looked great with it. And I had all these plans for the cover of what I was going to do, but I did need something to, I needed some sort of ribbon to wrap around my book to hold it together because it wants to uh, pop out a little because it is a little bit dimensional. And then once I wrapped this ribbon on it, I loved the way it looked. So I just left it at that and added some of these gorgeous snowflakes from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are some of my favorite things to use when I'm making a Christmas project. And what I like so much about these is they give it some texture and a little bit of um, uh, decoration, but they don't stand out too much. They, they kind of uh, just kind of blend in, which is what I wanted for the cover. So this is a six by nine folio. I use the papers on the side. This is a digital kit. If you're not familiar with digital kits, I'll put a video in the description box where I explain a little bit more of how I use digital kits. And I did spray everything with Mod Podge clear acrylic spray. I've been asked before how you use it. You simply print out the paper, take it outside. You wanna use it in a well ventilated area. And I have a little box that I use to spray it in and you just spray the paper. I do, if you can let them sit overnight just for the smell, I would suggest to do that. But a lot of times I don't, I'm in the middle of working on something. So I, they dry right away. You can come right back in and work on them. So on the side, I use this red striped paper. I love this pattern paper on the back. I use lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. So check the description box for everything you'll see here, everything that I used. So this ribbon is not attached to the book. This is a grow grain ribbon that I've had in my, my stash for years and years. I believe it's from Stampin' Up. So when you flip over the book, I have a pocket here that I folded down the side, added some of the pattern paper to um, both the flip part and the pocket page as well. I used a label that says Christmas Joy and this beautiful reindeer comes in the collection, several different colors. So I added him on here with a gorgeous white, the small white poinsettias from Wild Orchid Crafts and a silver gem in the center. So again, this is a pocket. These are great for photo mats. Photos can be placed in here as well. I think I um, matted everything on the black cardstock. So on this side, this is left open for a photo. This is a label from the collection. It says peace. I added two tags up here that are actually adhered down and added some of the white point set of flowers and then some more of those snowflakes, again, from Wild Orchid Crafts. Gorgeous. And I love this pattern paper. On this side, so there's going to be two pockets. So this pocket here, this is just some of the pattern paper and I added these elements to them before printing it out. And I added a Merry Christmas digital stamp that I had in my stash. I added a row of flat back pearls and there's lots of journaling cards in this collection, lots of photo mats. So let me pull some of them out. Here's just a large photo mat journaling on the back, added a tag that says fa la la, gorgeous papers. And to me, the Wild Orchid Crafts looks great with them. Here's the tag. Another tag. Super pretty papers. Very sweet collection. So those just all tuck in there. And then on this side, I made a belly band. I used some of the flowers that come in the collection along with the leaves. Some more of those silver gemstones. And to the pocket, some more journaling tags. This one already comes with lines on it, so it's great. You could um, put your journaling right on here and a photo on the back. Beautiful. Christmas waves a magic wand over this world and behold, everything is softer and more beautiful. Norman Vincent Peel. And then this is a scalloped edged heart from the collection. 
On this side here's another pocket. I used one of the large bells, another label, and I made sure to um, have it stick over the pocket. I did double it, that way it's stronger. Love this postcard that comes in the collection. Some more journaling cards. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Then let me open it to the back. I made another pocket. I used a Spellbinders Edge die and I did it with the, um, I ran it through my Sizzix with that die on the pattern paper and then black as well. I used the black stripe paper in the back. This beautiful antique brass embellishment from Wild Orchid Crafts and again the white, excuse me, white poinsettia flowers. Here's a large mat. This, um, is a journal card that already comes like this. I just made it very large because I wanted it to take up this pocket. That way a large photo or several photos can be placed on the back. A tag that comes in the collection and I used more of that ribbon and added one of the silver snowflakes from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then here's one of the paint chips that I love. All Knitwit collections come with this paint chip. So this is great to add some dates or journaling on the back. On this side, I made another belly band with some more self-adhesive pearls. I made a large um, note shape or bracket shape. Merry Christmas, another poinsettia flower with a sparkle gem from Wild Orchid Crafts. They have uh, red ones too. I used a red one in here. They also have large poinsettia flowers, small ones. They have ones that already come with a center in them. Tons to choose from. And Wild Orchid Crafts also has tons of new products for Christmas and just in general. Another journaling card. Could go like this. Another little journaling card as well. So those just slip right in here. And on the last page, there is this stacked pockets. So this top one has a really large photo mat, beautiful paper. I thought about double siding or putting pattern paper on the back side as well, but I didn't want it to get too thick because once you add a photo, it'll get thicker, of course. So Ginger from My Sister Scrapper has a great tutorial on this. It's more of this paper. I love this. And then here is the smaller pockets. On this, um, this is paper that comes in the collection. I added the word believe I had in my stash. And then, like I said, one of the red poinsettia flowers with a silver gem. And then here's a little photo mat. And then these come in the collection as well. These are gorgeous little postage stamps. This one's my favorite. So check out the description box. I'll have all the links for both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit collections. And I hope you've enjoyed today's project. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.